Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the um, recipe book that I just got through making a couple of days ago. I've been really working on a lot of mini albums. Alright, so let's get started. This is the first page and it has time spent with family is time well spent and then menu and recipe and I cut out this little bit of paper off of one of the little tags because I really like that and I put it right there to kind of fill up some space and then this you can put the recipient's name and then this has two tags in it you can put recipes or pictures of people who contributed their recipes last year for Christmas I made my stepdaughter, my granddaughter, and both of my nieces, what I called heritage cookbooks. And everybody had a section and they put their own recipes in it. This is kind of what this is set up for. All right. Here we have three pockets. Each one has a recipe card in it. On the back is a series of mats and then a place that you can either continue the recipe from the front to the back you could put a picture and maybe a small recipe or another recipe here same for here and on the back you see the matting and this one And I just made this using scraps of what I had left from last year. Okay, and then here you just have two recipe areas. And then the eat, which was just a sticker that I put on this little tiny mat. And then I took the gloss, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Wink Estella and went around the outside of the eat. Just so it gives it a little shimmer. Maybe y'all can see that. I'm not sure if you can see the shimmer or not. But it gives it just a little shimmer when the light hits it. Okay, you open it up. This side is a mirror image of the other side. Let's see if I can make sure you see it. Alright, we have the three recipe cards. And on the back are the mats. Right here is it was two stickers and I just put them on the screen paper and it just gives you the conversions for cups to fluid ounces pint to cup quart to pints and all that and then the teaspoon then table um, the tablespoons and teaspoons is up there and then you know this one right here and this just says from the kitchen of so whoever puts these recipes in you could put their name right there and this one okay and then our center we have a waterfall and it has a recipe card on each one and then in the where I put this paper to hide the fold of the wrist of the waterfall I put from the kitchen of so you can put their name there of who gave you these that recipe and then here's another one and then another from the kitchen of another series of two and then a little blank area that you could just put their name and I kind of on the recipe of each one the word recipe except for this one I put the Wink Estella. I just went over it with the Wink Estella. So every once in a great while you can catch a little glimpse of glimmer. I don't know if you can see that. That one I gotta do some fixing too. I had to take it apart with the undo and since I didn't have another one of these recipe things I had to figure to use it. Oh excuse me. Oh I am so sorry. It's two two o'clock in the morning and I'm pretty tired. <clears throat> but I wanted to get this video and show this walkthrough. Okay, and then the, <clears throat> there's this one. And this one. And then right here I just took a, a black mat and I just put...
These are th some of the tags that were in it. This was a bigger tag that I cut down to make it fit. And then this is our family traditions and live life with a little spice. I figured that you could either write some family traditions here or maybe a small recipe. You know, the ingredients here and how you make it there. You know, the directions there. All right, let me fold all this up. Let me flip it over. And we just have a, a pretty simple back. I didn't want to do much with this I did because I really like that apple pie. Okay, but in the sides are pockets. I left a pocket in the sides, and they have the mats. Again, you can put recipes in there, or you can photos, notes. And then this side has one also, same size mat. You can also tuck, let's see, I'm just going to use this red paper. Pretend this is like a newspaper clip or out of a magazine or something that a recipe was on. You can just, you know, tuck it in there. And then you have it with your recipes. All right, that is my recipe book. Now I want to talk about the giveaway. We are up to 31 subscribers. When we get to 50 subscribers, we're going to have a giveaway for the Delusions Ink Spray. Let me just pull some out. Let's get this one over here. We're going to do five of them. Oh, that's Tim Holtz. Never mind. That's not Delusions. Okay. We're going to do these five right here, I think. All right. We have Black Marble, Tangerine Dream, Funky Fuchsia, Slate Gray, Chopped Pisto. Pesto. Pesto, I think is how you say it. All right. These I'm going to give away. These five right here when we reach 50 subscribers. So please, down below, like the video, subscribe, and share. Because when we get to 50, and we're at 31, a little while ago when I looked, we're going to have a drawing. On the, as soon as I notice that we have 50 subscribers, I will do a video and y'all give y'all a few days to comment on it. And then I will... Put everybody's name in a bowl and draw one out. And that's who will win these five Delusions ink sprays. So please, subscribe, like, and share. You can do that in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed my recipe book. I will do a tutorial over this sometime in the next week or two. Thank you. Y'all have a blessed night.